this is a, a short video on some hedge laying and this particular field is called um, a Bostock's Bank and the field on the other side is called Prison Bar in North Road November 2017 so we've got this near pure hawthorn hedge with some outer flower bushes. It has been laid before and I've cleared out initially lots of the wood I don't want. So that could be obviously the dead stuff, the short stuff, and I'm looking for long lengths. So there's a, a particular one at the back of here, which runs up, and you can see it going up there. And that particular one, well, when it's laid, it will come down and it'll end somewhere here. So this is what I've done, I've cleared them out and I've got all these nice long stems ready to lay. Not all these are going to be successful. One particular one there might not be because the, the sap is going to come up here and just finish here and this is where I'm going to have it coming over. So that, that might be a, a bad one. The idea here is that the sap's going to come around that side and it's also dead at the bottom of there. There's Bonnie. Hello Bonnie. Uh, less than 12 months old. Here's a, one that's been laid before. I'm going to see if I can splice it here. And let that lay down. Here are the tools I use. A pair of gloves. These are welding gloves. So the longer, my hands are, are big and I need the long gloves. We've got a bill hook. This is my grandfather's. It's had a lot of wear in it. Chainsaw. pair of loppers, long loppers, because when you put them over these big stems, they get tied up in the top, and so they're difficult to come over. So you need that, and we also trim it up easily. I've got two axes. Now the bigger axe is at times used as a, as a maul, so the head's quite good at knocking the pieces in, which uh, they come out of the hedge, and they're there to support it again. The shorter, smaller axe is also used for splicing the stem there. And this particular one, you can see where it is, and it's gone all the way up to about there. And I've got to cut off the end at an angle to shed the water off and then that will shoot up again. So <clears throat> we've had a couple of days at this and then the brush gets chucked on one side. Anything that's suitable for burning at home on the fire is placed there. And um, yeah, we've got quite a bit of hedge to do. Once this 